Let's talk about one of the really, really exciting features in Cubase's 3.3, the extended MIDI routing. With the extended MIDI routing, you have a lot of flexibility. You can basically route MIDI from one channel to the other or even control plugins. So I'm going to show you an example on how you can use extended MIDI routing with a plugin from Waves, Waves Tune Real Time. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to set it up. So what I have here is I have an audio channel where I'm going to record my voice and I've added Wavestune real time as an insert effect. Simple. The next thing that I have is a MIDI channel. Now, as you can see in the routing, you will see that this MIDI channel doesn't go to anything, no MIDI output is selected and no instrument is loaded. So right now it won't produce any sound, but we're going to use this MIDI channel to control waves tune real time. So let me show you how easy that is. First, I'm going to select my audio channel. I'm going to activate my monitoring and then I'm going to go to my inserts. Okay. Now, the next thing that I want to do is make sure that my target pitch is enabled for MIDI input. And now I'm going to basically tell Waves Tune Real Time to get the notes from the channel that I've created. All you need to do is click on this icon here so this is the effect MIDI source track dialog. Now I can select which MIDI track I'm going to use to control Wavetune real time. So I'm going to select the channel that I've created here. And basically I'm good to go. Now the only thing I need to do is make sure that both of these are record enabled. And now you will see that whatever note I play on the keyboard, that's what the Waves Tune real time is going to correct to. Let's have a listen. In a galaxy far, far away. Whoa, in a galaxy far, far away. So this is one of the creative ways that you can do this. And actually, if you take it one step further, you can create vocal harmonies with this technique. Let me show you what I've done in this project, for example. I have one single vocal track that I've duplicated two times, okay? And then I've added Waves Tune on each one of the vocals. And each one of these Waves Tune instances are being controlled by a different MIDI track, as you can see here. So this means that I have a three voice harmony out of one single vocal. Let's have a listen. Sky, watching you fly, aiming for everything and anything so high. So as you can see from one vocal, I generated two more harmonies. And if I play it together with the track, So lots and lots of fun. I think you can be really, really creative with this function. And it goes without saying that if you want to route MIDI from one channel to the other, it's very, very simple. So I can go on any channel, go MIDI outputs, and then just select any MIDI channel that I want to control from that specific MIDI channel. Especially if you're using MIDI effects, arpeggiators, this can be really, really useful. 